Hello, everybody, and welcome to Old School Wednesday. We are playing Warcraft 3. No, shit. No, we're not even. We're playing Metroid Prime. Oh, my God. Would you even, could you even, will you even believe it? Mm, I love Metroid Prime so much. Look at it. We're inside of the Metroid. It's the first Metroid. That's how you know, because it says Prime. Maybe. I don't think that's why it's called Metroid Prime. Oh! Can you guys even? I can't. Okay, Samus A, 70%. Hard B, 74%. And hard C, 39%. Well, shit, we're gonna erase some stuff. I don't even give a damn. Writing a memory card in slot A. Fine, good, write to that memory card. We're playing Metroid Prime, guys. We're gonna start a brand new game. And we're gonna go on, um, hmm, uh, hmm, hmm. You know what, let's go on normal mode. Let's go on normal mode. Here's the reason why. I can do hard mode, all right? I'm not a I'm not a wimp, okay? I have strong strength in my body, right? Here's the reason. Old School Wednesday for the last several weeks has been uh, you know, a little bit uh, difficult, a little bit stressful in my brain because man, freaking RTSs take a lot of brain power and they take a lot of focus and a lot of concentration. To play them correctly and what I'm into right now what I desire is a peaceful relaxing just happy experience I want to read all the signs on the walls I want to encounter new life new civilizations blast them to pieces with my lasers and my missiles so we're gonna play normal mode let's investigate the options what are the options visor opacity helmet opacity HUD lag hint system and restore default Display screen. Oh, screen brightness. Can I turn up the screen? Yes! I want to see all the things. Everything else is okay. Sound is good. Fine. Controller. Reverse Y axis. We'll figure out if we need that later. Vocals quiet to game sounds. How about now, even? How about this currently? Where I am. I have decreased the volume of video games. Please allow me to know if I am in the correct. Mm. We're gonna do normal mode. We're gonna do normal mode. Normal mode. Normal mode. Habant, hi, how are you? How even are you today? Oh my god, I cannot describe how excited I am about Metroids. An identified distress beacon has been tracked to a derelict space vessel in orbit above Talon 4. We are in space. We're in space. Space, 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 space. This game is gorgeous and pretty and beautiful. Got a wonderful soundtrack. It's just the bee's knees, man. It's the cat's pajamas, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Oh my goodness, it's a derelict spaceship. What we're going to need to uh, rescue everyone in this derelict spaceship is uh, 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 some manner of spacesuit creature man person. Uh, maybe a, a, a bounty hunter of some flavor. Oh, shit. She's flying a helmet that looks like her helmet. She's flying a ship that looks like her helmet. We're going to restart the stream. Five, four, three. Hi, everybody. This was a GameCube game, yes, correct Amundo. We were playing it on a Nintendo game. We're not actually, we're playing it on my Wii. Because my GameCube's all fucked right now. I can't the the controller ports are all bad. I don't know why. I can't make it work. But thankfully, the Nintendo Wii is a Nintendo GameCube. So hey, guess what? We get to go there. <gasps> there it is. There it is. There she is. She is gonna beat the ass and take the names. Samus Aaron, my fucking hero, dude. Boom! Superhero landing! It's really bad for your knees, by the way. It's not good for you. Okay. Here we are on the tutorial ship. Oh! You hear that? Yes. All right. Here I am. I'm a lady. Press and hold L to lock onto targets. I can do that. Shoot the target. Shoot the target. Shoot and shoot. Yeah! Guys, we're going to... Okay, is it B to jump? It is, okay. 
The next set of force field controls are offline. Scan the central pillar to activate them. Oh yes, my scanning visor. <gasps> okay. Scannable objects appear as orange target. Press and hold L to scan a target. This switch does not seem to be operational. The control panel on the pillar in this room can turn it on. And look how they're faded now. And look, I can scan the doorway. This force field blocks the entrance. You cannot deactivate the force field unless the switches are red. Guys, oh, freaking gourd, man. It's like so good. Ah, yes, okay, and this one, see how it's red? That means it's special. Force field activation switches are now online. Wah, 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 wah. Uh, press F, up, or A to activate the combat visor. Yep! We're gonna get into some combats! Alright, so this is an era before dual stick shooters were really, really starting to become common. You'll notice that my controller does, in fact, have two sticks. The one on the left actually changes my weapons. Uh, the one on the right... Excuse me, the one on the left moves me around. The one on the right changes my weapons. It usually is that the one on the left moves you. Forward and backward I got under control, but if I do left and right, I actually swivel. Which is what typically this stick would be associated with, is the looking of the around. Now, if I was really interested in a more modern control scheme, I could actually... Get rid of this. I could eject the shit out of this and go throw in the Metroid Prime Trilogy, which is sitting on the shelf. It is the Wii version. Metroid Prime 3 came out for the Wii, but 1 and 2 were GameCube. All three of them are available for the Wii, and you can use your Wii stick and look around with your stick. But I don't want to do that, man. I'm trying to be a GameCube man. I don't know. I just It's exciting to me to play it on... So we're doing that. It's fine. It's good. It's fine. Besides which, you guys remember from... Um, Mario Galaxy, I have to lean back like this and, and be all weird because there's not enough distance between me and the sensor bar. Bagow! Let's open doors. Did you see that? We're doing it again. Oh, look how we're standing in the steam and it's getting all up in our shit, man. It's all on our visor. Everything about this game is fucking great. Okay, let's make sure we're reading everything in the world. We're going to read everything in the whole world. Deck Gamma, Reactor Core and Propulsion, Current Status, Environment Normal. Okay. Doorway! Entrance to exterior docking hangar. Okay, great, cool. Should lean? Yeah. A shoulder lean, yes. Uh, emergency evacuation area. Current status, environment, unstable. Fuck, dude. Alright. This is gonna be... Just... Man... Weeks. It's just gonna be weeks of us sitting here... Exploring a beautiful place. It's gonna be a okay number one good time. Let's scan this. Entrance to airlock. All right, sweet, dope. We're in the airlock. Let's open it. Oh shit, guys, gravity's all fucked. You know what I learned in the last room is sometimes you have to scan things in order to open doors. So let's scan this. Airlock repressurization successful. Nice. Am I a madman, or is there a... I believe there is a way... No, maybe I'm crazy. Ah, it's in this hallway. Yes, correct. Very good. So hard to play an old-school shooter without dual-stick control. I agree. Especially considering that... Like, in this game, I can literally lock onto targets and just shoot, and then strafe around and move while I'm doing that, so it makes it a little easier. Modern games don't have that crap. So. Man, video game, how are you going? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, that's right, guys. I have a fucking 3D map thing. Oh, this is great, man. This is just great. What's my, um... Aha! I'm a ball! Guys, I'm a ball. Oh, and I have 15 missiles. Okay, that's great. Here we are. We're exploring the place. That's a giant alien. Good. Oh, good. Let's just scan that guy real quick. A new creature's entry has been downloaded into my logbook. Morphology parasite. Interstellar vermin. Travel in swarms. Indigenous to Talon 4. A single parasite is harmless to larger life forms. However, they tend to travel in large groups, swarming over potential prey. Such swarms can be dangerous. 
Aha, I'm a ball. I here's the okay, here's the game plan, right? Is everyone listening? I plan on reading everything that I find. I plan on reading every goddamn thing. I want to milk this game for all it's worth, man. Press and hold L to lock on enemies. I don't care. Biohazardous material. Phase on batch 0142.A. Destination deck beta. Guys, we got a space pirate. Death caused by a severing of spinal cord. Well, that fucking guy. Biohazardous material. Phase on batch 0009.A. Destination deck beta. Okay, so they're transporting something called Phazon. Escape pod entrance. The vessel has already been jettisoned. Evacuation occurred six hours prior to arrival. Okay, cool. And see how, like, the block is faded, so I've already read this one. Escape pod entrance, yada, yada, yada. Ooh, another uh, space pirate. Oh, dude, I will lore master the shit out of these games. We're fo oh, and by the way, just for heads up, Old School Wednesday will be Metroid Prime, followed by Metroid Prime 2, followed by Metroid Prime 3. I just want to be on a Metroid Prime train right now. Me, unless I come up with something other to play. I don't know, man. But I really want to play the Primes. They're fucking good. Space Pirate. Death caused by acidic burns to body. Chemical type unknown. All right. Tell you what. Slay them! Oh, and check this out, right? See how I'm near the fire, and on the left-hand side of the screen, right above me, there's a little exclamation mark? See how and I walk up to them? It gets higher. That's a danger indicator. It's indicating danger. Is that fucking great? Or like a temperature environmental control problem, you know. All right, let's let's uh, let's investigate that pirate. Oh, nope, sorry. Escape pod three, launched. Escape pod four, launched. Escape pod seven, launched. We're reading this now. Escape pod launch coordinates, Talon 4, 110L.30L, research command center. Okay, cool. There's some shit down there on Talon. What's going on over here? Tail section possesses a mouth-like orifice, most likely used for birthing offspring. Worm hiney, you say? Actually, can I can I scan the worm? No? Alright, let's find out about this pirate. Species, space pirate. Status, weak life signs detected. Imprints of large bite marks can be seen on exoskeleton. Is he gonna shoot at me? He's shooting at me! Alright, he's fine. Does his shit change? Weak's life signs detected. Eh, not anymore, cowboy. Uh, use my charge beam to destroy rubble. I can do that. Bacow! What's up? Ain't no rubble here. You know what? Are you a thing? Uh, look at the space pirate. Space pirate status. Death caused by excessive blunt trauma to cranium. He got punched too hard in the head, man. Fuck that guy. Alright. There they go. Into the map room. There's a map in that room. BT dubs. We're just gonna go ahead and, uh, is it this one? Yes. Oh, you know what? Can I scan that, actually? I wanna scan the hole. Ventilation tunnel to navigation room. Let's go. Um, step into the hologram to download the map. How we doing as far as, like, motion sickness or that sort of thing, man? Because I know that some sometimes these first-person-y kind of points of views, they can get up into your head a little bit. So I hope that everything's going to be groovy. You have downloaded the map for this area. Press Z to access the map. When you're finished, press Z to resume play. Okay, so... Can I zoom out? No, move. Zoom. Here we are. Hey, we got quite a bit of facility left to explore. And I believe we're going to encounter us a couple of pirates. Who's up for some pirate fighting? Oh, you know what? Hey, let's scan computers. Talent 4, ground zero, area secure. Crater radiation, readings normal. Big screen, okay, good. Does the small screen fuck everything up in the eyeballs? And the ear holes? Bring an exterior hull stable and fully functional. Okay, good. Thank you for the progress report. Can I scan the map thing you do? No, I guess not. That sucks. Two parasite queen specimens have become volatile on deck beta. All security personnel should report to the biotech research area. Parasitic infestation has been detected in the ventilation systems on decks Gamma and Beta. Okay. Well, let's go kill everything I can find. How's that sound? Is that going to be great? Ooh, hey, hello. Access to deck Beta 
Approved. Step into the hologram. More like a TV show? Okay. Platform active. Okay, good. Entrance to map facility. Okay, good. Use the scan visor to activate certain objects. I know that. I just got to step into the hologram, and then suddenly there's a uh, an elevator happening. Okay, we have a warning. Use the morph ball to get through small areas. This uh, energy conductor unit has been damaged. Use caution when approaching the arcing electricity. Oh, and that counter all the way up there in the corner, those three dots that are right next to my barf name, they're morph ball bombs. What's up? Come on, morph ball bombs. This is good. This is good. Oh, pirate room. Guys, this is a dangerous... What we have here is a dangerous... Ooh, shit, man. What do you got? Morphology. Unknown. Low life signs detected. This creature appears to be in a state of stasis hibernation. Okay, cool. Specimen cell C. Status unknown. Rejection of phazon compound detected. Can I see inside? No? Specimen cell A. Status hibernation. Transference of phazon batch 0, 0 8 1.0 complete, I guess is what that says. It's a little difficult to read some of the small text numbers. Specimen cell B, status unknown. Rejection of phase on compound detected. Oh, pirate! Morphology, space pirate. Status, severe internal damage detected. Well, I suggest we fuck him up right in his head. Shoot him in his dumb head. Oh, you are also a pirate. I'm gonna just scan you real quick. Know thine enemy. Morphology, space pirate, status, both legs of this creature are broken. Well, I think we should put him out of his misery, this stupid space lizard man. All right, that is health, right? Right there, that's some health unit. A new research entry has been downloaded into the logbook. Small energy replenishes 10 units of energy. Give me that health, be absorbed. Secret for everybody, the charge beam pulls stuff to me that I want. Isn't that neat? Yes, tell me all the lore. Parasite egg in pupa stage. Its tough exoskeleton protects it from mother's acidic embryonic fluid. Ooh, cool. Good evolutionary tactic. The fluid sacs in the mouth enlarge after mutation. This allows for increased production of corrosive bile. Hey, sweet. We're spitting things? Oh, okay. After mutation, the carapace of the larva becomes rigid. The carapace is quite resilient, able to resist the attacks of many predators. Okay, so this is bio data on that critter over there. That's what, that's what I'm looking at over here. They're researching these large monsters. Combat mutation ap applications are complete. The primary legs of this creature possess galvanized tips, allowing it to penetrate any known alloy. Fuck, this is a strong... This is this is the fucking tardigrade right here, man. This is the Star trek -in, This is the Star trek thing I ever did done see. Entrance to Deck Beta Security Hall. All right, well, let's go there in a moment. But first, I want to know what that is. The coils on this ventilation cap look unstable. Well, maybe we'll fuck it up later. Is this not, like, the spaciest, creepiest music that I, you you ever done heard? Fire missiles with Y. All right, great, cool, we'll do that. Uh, ballistic support needed in specimen block F. Okay, cool. That's fine. Doesn't really bother me, though. Aha, yes, there is a ceiling turret right here. You guys ready for it? Got him! Shoot missiles! So what's nice is I hold the L button and then I can strafe like you would normally. And, like, holding the L button will actually also lock onto targets. And also, it will continue to lock onto the target even if you move out of, like, line of sight. Entrance to biohazard containment. They do a lot for you in this game to make sure that you can continue to play the game correctly. A new research entry has been downloaded into the logbook. Missile ammunition. Resupplies missile launcher with five... Rounds of ammo. Yorp! Is there more things to read? I want to read the things. Come on now. Okay. Oh, okay. There's more pirates here, I think. Oh, but there's computers, too. Whoa! You know what? Let's get a look at this guy here. 
A new creature's entry has been downloaded into the logbook. Subject, auto defense turret. Use missiles to break outer casing. All right. Okay, man. You don't have to fucking... Man, you got to work on your aim, son. All right. All right, let's read things. Phase on infusion, stage one. Parasite larva diagnostic. Mass 1.2, length 0.5. Cell structure stable. Ooh, that one's red. I'm going to save that one for later. Phase on infusion, stage two. Introducing mutagen into tank. Phase on batch a number. Status complete. Whoops, it is he. Phase on infusion, stage three. Thank you for the retweet, by the way. Mutation initiated. Larva status, status stable. Up, oh, computer. Remember to defense turret malfunction. Yep. I wonder if I can turn off the defense turrets this way. Morphology. Parasite larva info. Harmless unless encountered in large numbers. Wait a minute. That guy is harmless? Everybody hears something walking around, right? Morphology. Phasmite. Native of Talon 4. Specimen, solitary holding one, based on level unknown status. Xenotrophic life form unstable. Use caution. Armless? No, harmless. Harmless. <laughs> it's armless unless there's a bunch of them, in which case they grow arms. Specimen cell structure fading. The batch does not match DNA, terminating infusion sequence. Stage four larva diagnostic. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is detailing that the uh, experimentation is working until suddenly it doesn't. So they're still trying to figure out phase on something. Infusion analysis 10.2. Specimens exhibit ex incredible strength and body mass increases when exposed to phase on. Okay. Infusion analysis. Phase on batch increases the acid production of the saliva ducts and parasite larva. Okay. So they're trying different kinds of phase on to see if they can't get different kinds of mutations. This is all right. Experiment, uh, bioform, pain tolerance levels at thir at 13% and holding. 13% pain tolerance does not seem good. I would rather 100%. Biohazard waste removal may begin in three hours. Phase on radiation readings must be reported to deck commander before the batch disposal. So, they're doing experiments on something called phase on on the local creatures. But they haven't actually detailed what phase on even is yet, which is, like, really cool. It very much feels like a immediate race sort of. We're just gonna show up here, man, and shit's crazy, but we're not gonna tell you. Like you're gonna figure it out starting in the middle, right? A new pirate data entry has been downloaded to the logbook. Space pirate encrypted data encoded. Log number nine 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 two three. Zebus has fallen. Ooh, shit. Okay, so this happens after Super Metroid, then. Zebus has fallen. All ground personnel are presumed dead. Either killed by the hunter clad in metal, that's me, or in the subsequent destruction of the underground facilities. Our research frigates, our research frigates Orpheon, Seracius, Seracus, and Volparagom were in orbit at zero hour and managed to retreat. Frigate Orf Orpheon is now docked at Vortex Outpost. Orpheon's cargo appears to have a 100% survival rate. Metroids are healthy but on restricted feeding schedules due to uncertain supply status. We are ready to begin research on the Metroids and other promising life forms. Security status remains at code blue. No signs of pursuit from the hunter. Okay, that pirate data was like super important to the lore of the Metroid series because in Metroid 1, you kill a bunch of them, you kill all mother brain and you're good, right? You just leave. Then in Metroid 2, you return to SR388 which is the homeworld of the Metroids, and you presumably eradicate all of them. But you failed to kill the few that the space pirates still had. So then you go back to... Dude, what is she doing? Playing fucking Game Boy on her arm? That's awesome. Simon? Whatever that is. Then you go back to Zebus, and you, like, really fuck up the pirates. Like, you give them a hard time. And presumably kill all the rest of the Metroids. That computer just told me, yeah, you got all the ones on the planet. You didn't get the ones that were in the ship in space. Elevator operational. Step into the hologram. Don't mind if I do. All right, I feel like I'm probably going to be in combat here just a little bit. Okay, you are a pirate. 
that has been wounded. Space pirate, severe internal damage detected. The other thing that they're not telling us is why all these space pirates are all fucked up. All we know is we got a distress call. Oh, that one's got a limp. No. That one. Space pirate. Brain hemorrhage detected. Creature's aim will be hindered. Avoid damage by using quick movements. Oh, I can do that. Hey! Time to kill the rabbit. Is there another one? Yep. Space pirate. Minimal injuries assessed. Use caution. Maximum firepower recommended. Yeah, no, she's exactly what she's got. She's got a wrist low jackimator. That's completely correct. Except that it's also a gun. I suggest we read every goddamn thing. Morphology, Zoomer, info, native of Town 4. Zoomers are also on 388 and um, Zebus, too. Uh, plated parasite larva, native of Town 4. A door with some shit in it. Based on level toxic. Hermetic seal holding. Okay. Good. Make sure that Phazon doesn't get out. War Wasp! This is interesting. Okay, so I know I'm going to encounter these creatures on the planet, but they're not actually giving me the creature data for them. They're just saying, hey, it's a creature. War Wasp, okay. Solitary holding three, Phazon level normal, status, hemetic shield holding. Okay, cool. Toxic. War Wasp. Scanned him. What are you? A Shriek Bat. Okay, cool. Great. An Ice Shriek Bat. Okay. And Hermetic Seal holding, right? Oh, status empty. Okay, cool. Ah! Pirate! Acid Burns have welded the joints of the exoskeleton. Well, he's going to have a hard time shooting then, won't he? I'll just give him a hand there. Are these computers? Oh my god, there's so much to read! You guys! Ventilation covers may become superheated if airflow is restricted. Unusual thermal readings should be reported to the deck engineer on duty. Duty. Obstruction detected in reactor ventilation system. Engineering crew report to freight left corridor immediately. Whoops. Security codes on auto defense turrets are changed every other lunar cycle. Using improper codes may result in turret activation. Okay. Entrance to cargo freight. Let's go. Ah! Balls! Uh, the button! Alright. Access the deck gamma approved. Please step into the hologram. What's going on over here? Space pirate. Death caused by severe lacerations to the abdomen. Dude, whatever's out here fucking up pirates is doing a really good job at fucking up pirates. We got a spot. We got a pirate. Device does not seem to be functional. There must be something nearby that will turn it on. Ah! Don't fire at me until I'm done scanning at you. Minimal injuries assessed. Caution. Maximum firepower. All right. You know what? Oops. Oops. <laughs> I got back in the elevator. My bad, pirate. Bye, Felicia. All right, if I leave and come back, hey, there we go. See how he waits patiently for me? Shoot him in the face! All right, uh, scan visor. Dead pirate, lacerations, dead pirate. 
Removal of internal organs, guys. He done to get he, he done did got spleened. Door lock enabled. Please insert metallic sphere to open door. That's a strange way to be a key, man. Like, all right. Not to be that guy. But so far, every door I've opened has required me shooting it, and every lock I've picked has required things like this to happen. So how is everyone else moving through this facility? Like, I understand how I'm doing it. It's because I'm equipped and I'm a badass, but... is the Am I supposed to believe that the rest of the world is into this shit? Gun! Hey, ah, gun! Oh. What kind of monster shuts a door? Oh, okay, and I've got a combat mini-map in that corner there. Press and hold A to draw in pickups. Yep, give me that shit. Beep. Good, very good. Uh, let's figure out things. Door lock enabled. Metallic sphere. Got it, yes, good. Is this a save room? I seem to recall... Yes, okay, good. Let's save our progress. Save progress in memory slot A? Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. Game has been saved. Energy fully replenished. Man, I'm such a strong, independent woman. You guys don't even know. Ooh, what's your deal? Are you a dead pirate? Severe lacerations. Subject looks like it's been partially eaten. Good. Very good. Okay. Death caused by acid burns to the face! Yeah! Right in his face and ass! Everybody having a great time? This is the tutorial area. Normally, you could, like, scream through this. But we're going slow, and we're having a grand old time. Uh, and we're gonna go slow right into this boss room, because that's what this is. No life signs detected. Okay, good. Analysis detects large amounts of blood missing from the carcasses. These bodies may have been used for nourishment. Pattern consistent with predator behavior. This is a big boss. I'm having such a good time right now, man. Everything is just good. Also, there's a large... I had to say bug lizard. Let's kill the bug lizard. Parasite queen! Uh, use that and tap B to dash while locked on. I can do that. All right, tell you what, let's shoot him with a missile. Let's shoot her. Oh, you know what? You know what? We're not going to shoot Dick. We're going to scan. That's what we're going to do. We're going to scan the shit out of this. A new creature's entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Morphology. Parasite queen. Parasite female. Genetically enhanced by unknown means. A weak spot has been detected in this creature's mouth. Use your auto-targeting to acquire this new target. Hey, we learned a thing about the way the game is played because Nintendo knows how to teach you things. I scanned it, the computer was like, we think probably the mouth. So now when I auto-target again, it's gonna not aim at the belly, which is where I'm aiming now, it's gonna refocus onto the mouth, because I learned a thing about a thing. Scans indicate the presence of a potent mutagen, origins unknown. Creature exhibits the, yes, the, uh, exhibits the ability to fire weapon-grade blasts of energy from its mouth, a trait not present in the standard parasite genome. It appears the parasites have begun a bioengineering, pardon me, the pirates, I've begun a bioengineering program with considerable results. Great. See, now I'm on the mouth. Those blue things are shields, so I gotta not fag. I gotta not shoot him. Oh, here we are. Whoops. My missiles appear to be very slow. But that's okay, because we're gonna shoot him right in the mouth. We're gonna make like Jurassic Park. Well, but yeah, but like, if I had not scanned it, 
you can not scan things, and that's fine. But if I had not scanned it, I would not have gotten that hint that the game, like, set up for me to receive. Stop shooting me with things. What's my energy right now? What's my health? What's my health bar? 96? I'm good. Man, I'm so good. Stop shooting slurm at me! Missile! Directly to face. Uh, probably would have liked Nintendo games more as a kid. Possibly. Possibly. But, like, it's not... It's a tutorial. It's very clearly a tutorial level. Like, that's not... Let's not make any... Uh-oh, shit. Reactor core critical evacuate immediately. Okay, cool. You know, let's pause really quickly. Ooh. If that beeping isn't gonna go away, then that'll be a problem. Use butter on face? <laughs> yeah. Can I scan everything? I want to scan things. Can I still scan things? Is this an emergency? Ah, Bummer. Oh, I'm on a timer. Okay. Access the deck beta approved. Step into the hologram. Cool. So, um... It's clearly a tutorial level, but it's not a tutorial level where it's like, press A to fire, press B to do this. Like, they give you a perimeter defense turret disabled. Oh shit, man, I just turned off the fucking turret. That's awesome. See what you get when you scan things, man? It's fucking great. Pirates! Oh, all right, we're good. Uh, let's climb this debris. Pirate! We gotta get out of here before the whole place explodes for some reason. Yeah, parasites! Are those the the ones that come in swarms? Okay, yeah. Ah, it's all in my eyes! Ah, shit, fuck! Keep going! More of them! Ah, they're a bunch of boogers! Ah, oh, get your boogers out of my face, man, come on! Don't be giving me boogers. Uh, this way? Ah, oh, buggers! Keep going! Like, they're they're putting you in low-stress situations, and I say that as I'm running for, with a timer on, but they put you in relatively low-stress situations and just let you sort of explore and play with the buttons and learn things, and then they're like... They sort of put it in place that you can scan things, and then they don't tell you to scan anything else, really. Like, I guess they kind of do. How do I... Oh, okay, it just explodes. That's helpful. Um, you know, they put you in a situation where if you, if you use what you've been taught, you get little bonuses. Like, that's what I'm, and like, it reinforces, like, hey man, keep scanning things. Oh, shit, fuck! Nope, nope, this button! Alright. Refuel me. Thank you. And like... I'm in a situation where it, this should be very high stress and very dangerous and all that. My health is still at maximum. Like the, like these little parasites are not doing dick all for me. And I have a lot of time to get to where I need to get. Like I really, they're, they're, they're acting like I'm in a lot of danger, but the reality is I can sort of take my time and be careful about it. Ah! This fucking, uh... That room, they stole that room from aliens, man. I'm telling you. The thrusting thing. <gasps> grapple beam spots. I don't know how to use the grapple beam. Oh, good. It's Ridley. Speaking of aliens. Ridley is one of the main space pirates in Metroid. 
He is a badass, and he is here to fuck your day. Uh, press L when it appears. Oh, shit! Yeah! Let's swing like Tarzan! Open the door. Okay, good. Perimeter defense turret disabled. Don't shoot! Wait, can I get a new creature entry for a disabled turret? No, okay. Go! What? Oh, I gotta turn on the elevator. It's alright, the explosion knocked me to safety. This is cool. Very astute malfunction. Morph ball malfunction. Missile malfunction. Charge beam malfunction. Grapple beam malfunction. All the tools that, like... The main part of this was the exploration and learning to scan and, like, getting used to shooting and that sort of thing. And the other items and things that I had were sort of ancillary to that. Is this the way? Oh, I'm on the, uh, I'm out... Room is depressurizing. Okay. Very good. I'm back in the, uh, I'm back in the, uh, the way out. Bagow. Everything else associated with, you know, my items and all that, it was all secondary to, this is what you do. You explore, you look at stuff, you learn things about the world, you occasionally shoot a man. Like, those are the things. And then also, on top of that, you've got missiles and morph bomb, and you can do all these things. And then you do you go through the explosion and you bash your head against the wall and you're like, oh fuck, dude, and like half of your shoots half of your suit's systems shut down. And now you have to rebuild your arsenal and then gain even more cooler shit. Like I'm gonna get a bunch of new visors, I'm gonna get a bunch of new weapons. Like it's gonna be A OK dope number one good time. Tracking on enemy target has been lost. Ground-based recon required. Begin landing sequence. And uh, can we just reiterate that she flies a ship that just looks like her own head? I, like... I'm pretty sure Mario Galaxy stole that from this, man. Like, I... When I become rich and famous, I'm developing a spacecraft that is just my head. Let's fly around in it. Or I'll make the Barfalo Shroom into a um, Captain Toad-esque spaceship that's uh, Talon Overworld. We're going to the Talon Overworld. I miss her big bulky shoulders, man. I miss the Varia suit. I love the Varia suit. Save progress? Yeah, obviously we're going to save progress. Are you kidding me, man? Game has been saved. Good. Okay, we're gonna look up, and we're gonna get raindrops on our visor. Everyone sees this, right? I couldn't believe the level of detail when this game came out. I could not believe it. The polish blew my goddamn mind. And like, it's standard definition, and it's could be sharper, but even today, like, I just, mm, it's good. Oh, guys. Except, look, here's a little, place that I can go, and here's some things, and oh my goodness, man. Let's look at everything in the world. Oh, I'm underwater now, and like, I can't swim, because I'm all heavy, and I can barely see, because the water, and it's like weird, but here, they put a rock here, so that I might escape. Isn't that fucking great? And then when I come out of the water, it slurps off my face. Like, Ah, it, I actually it only you only kind of see it, but whatever, it's fine, still good, it's great, it's good, still good, it's great. Oh, you know what? I can scan my dude. Give me that shit. A new research entry has been downloaded to the logbook. Hunter class gunship registered to Samus Aaron. You can return to your ship and recharge energy, reload weapons, and save progress in the game. Thank you. <laughs> I like how they don't disguise it, and they're like, you can update your logbook to make sure that you've kept a record. You can save your progress in the game. All right, asshole, just get, get playing. Go. All right, so this is classic Metroidvania behavior, okay? 
I'm in a place right now where there's one way I can definitely go, and then over there there's a way, right? Like, but I can't quite get to it yet because it's kind of up high, you know? I can't really go up there yet. And then there's a place, I think there's some stuff over, over there that I can get to, but like not yet because I'm not powerful enough. That's what these games are. They are, look around for a while, explore. Keep track of places that you notice but you can't go to yet because you'll probably be able to go there later. Bugs! New creatures entry has been downloaded. Morphology Beetle! Burrowing insect with a resilient carapace. Extremely aggressive. Insect's massive mouth enables it to tunnel through solid rock at high speeds above ground. Beetles can cover short distances rapidly. They attack anything that moves near their lair. So do I! Get the hell out of here, man. Oh shit, I don't have my charge beam. I'm trying to charge up my beam so I can pull things toward me. I don't have that anymore. I lost that power. Let's scan some mushrooms, man. Let's learn about mushrooms. Species, Saturnine. Small, iridescent mushroom. Typically grows in dank, dark regions. Sweet, man. It's dank and dark up in here. And like, okay, the um, the hash bars that are all along, along the side of the screen, see how when I and the there, they mean nothing. They're just pretty, and I love that. Species, guide stem, pervasive indigenous species of bioluminescent weed. There is no reason whatsoever for there to be scan data for most of this stuff. But there is, because they're like, you know what? Some of our players are going to want to know literally every goddamn thing about the world that we're going to slap them into. And that's great, man. Get reading. A new creature's entry has been downloaded to the logbook. Species, sap sack, chemical... Reaction within sack produces violent explosion when agitated. Because of its irre irresistible odor and sweet nectar, the sap sack was nearly eaten out of existence. The evolution of an explosive chemical sack saved it. Now only brave indigenous creatures dare devour it. So it's so tasty that it needed to learn how to explode. <sighs> Fuck, dude, it exploded hard. Ooh, big health. New research entry. Large energy. It places 20 units of energy. Yay. Also, what you're listening to now is a classic Metroid song. They just sort of turned it up to 11 for this game because that's how they—that's how Nintendo do. All right, this is a zoomer, I think, right? Zoomer anchors itself to walls and other surfaces. Avoid contact with spikes. A basic nerve center located directly above the zoomer's mandibles detects nutrients. Sharp spines protect it from casual predators, but the lack of a reinforced carapace makes the zoomer vulnerable to any indirect attacks. Which means, shoot it! Can I scan the waterfall or, or anything? Doorway. Oh, you know what? Now that I'm off the research vessel, I bet you I get a research entry for doorways. Just general... No, I guess not. Okay. Uh-oh. Blast cap. Volatile chemicals within this weed's toxic fungal cap may explode if agitated. The poisonous flesh of the blast cap helps keep it from being eaten. It also detonates its fungal cap when it senses even slight contact. Okay, so don't walk on those. Got it. Good. Very, very good. There we go! Ooh, spiky man. A gamer, wall crawling mollusk with retractable spikes. The gamer is an evolutionary offshoot of the zoomer family. When threatened, it extends lethal spikes and retracts its head deep into its armored carapace. Fight me! Wow, so like I really can't fuck with this thing. It does not give a damn that I'm shooting it with lasers. Moss? Nothing? Okay. Tree appears to be healthy. Ring dating approximates aged at over 200 years. Ring dating. Everything about this game is the fucking best thing that's ever happened in my life. Sap sack. These large branches have been forcefully intertwined, forming what looks to be a bridge structure. Okay. Wow! Beetles! So right now I'm in a half pipe, and I will return to this area later when I gain power-ups. But let's scan it real quick, because I'm pretty sure 
There we are. The stone surface of this lichen... Is it lichen or lichen? I'm pretty sure it's lichen. Grow. Oh, the stone surface this lichen grows on appears too smooth to be natural. Yep, see, it's a half pipe. We're going to get a skateboard later. That's not true. All right, zoomer. Death to zoomers. All right, cool. Death to Ming. Good, very good. Whoa! Asshole. Access to Chozo Ruins West granted. Please step onto the hologram. Okay, so the Chozo are a ancient race of bird people. Samus Aran has a small amount or a trace amount or maybe a large amount, I actually don't know, of Chozo DNA injected into her. She was rescued by the Chozo people when she was a baby. Her parents were destroyed, were killed by space pirates. I think specifically by Ridley. I'm pretty sure Ridley killed Samus's parents. The Chozo took her in. They gave her the Chozo suit, which is what you're wearing now, the, the power suit. It's, a, it's ancient Chozo technology. Maybe it's not ancient at all. Maybe it's very modern. Um... But that's why she has all the abilities that she has, and she can jump really good, and she's got all the, like, extra endurance and all that. It's because she's part Chozo now. Uh, they're the bird people who, in the previous Metroid games, you would see their statues, and they would hold the balls, and you could... They would cup the ball, and you could shoot it, and you would get a power-up. They're cool. Incoming scan data. Oh, fuck. Abnormal seismic activity detected. What? Seismic disturbance at ruins site. Beep, 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 beep. The hive totem. Okay, cool. So what this means is I now have an objective. I need to figure my way to that place. We got to go in a that way-ish direction. I don't have the map yet, so we're just going to have to sort of figure it the fuck out on our own. Are you just a beetle? Oh, fuck. Kill the rabbit. Aha. Chozo lore entry downloaded to the logbook. Chozo script translated. At the highest point of our, s pardon me. At the highest point of our city lies the fountain, a wellspring of pure water that flows throughout our civilization. It is the jewel of the Chozo, the life giver, and yet its waters speak of a clouded future. As we come to understand the paths of time and space more clearly, we have begun to glimpse rough tatters of past and future, glittering behind reality like soft lights behind a curtain. We have seen the fountain in these glimpses, pouring darkness instead of water, and we cannot guess what the visions mean. Uh, they were a very scientifically advanced culture. I don't know if there's any still around. I really don't know where they all are, actually. A Metroid superfan? Um, take your Ehal Grotas, those kind of people. They could probably tell you whatever you wanted to know about the damn things, but I, I fucking can't, dude. All right. Let's scan things. Let's learn. I want to learn today. This tree seems to be weakened due to the cellular decomposition. Okay, cool. That sucks. Bugs! I am become Death Slayer of Bugs. Uh, okay. I kind of thought that that seemed a little weird, but whatever. What do you got up there? This object rests at the top of a very smooth inclined slope. Yep. Whatever it is, it's up there. It's literally what my computer says. Whatever it is, it's over there, man. Go get it. <laughs> figure it out. The, figure it the fuck out. Pretty sure I'm supposed to go the path behind me, but I'm just sort of checking to make sure that there's not special things. Aren't there war wasps in this area? I'm pretty sure there's like a nest of fucking wasps, man. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I think maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Possible that I don't know dick. Possible that I know precisely nothing. As I play this game, I realize that this is, like, the only thing I've wanted to do for weeks, video game-wise, man. Object is out of scanning range. Well, we can try and figure that out, maybe. There they are. These are the fucking things. All right. These are war wasp. Okay. Structure. War wasp hive. Primary war wasp dwelling. Only vulnerable to heavy weaponry. 
Coral wasps build their homes over existing crevices using whatever materials that are close at hand. They carry building fragments back to the construction site with their forelegs and give them and glue them in place with adhesive secrete with an adhesive secreted from their abdomens. We didn't need to know that! I will Ugh! We didn't need that information! But you know what Nintendo said? You can have it anyway, man. If you want it, if you want to learn about the war wasps, if you want to be a war a war waspologist, get in there and start scanning war wasps, and you'll know all about them, man. You'll just fucking be an expert on these sons of bitches. The world is your oyster. Okay, how do I get to? That's sort of where I want to be right now. Can I scan this dude. There we are. The grapple point is too far away to use. Okay, cool, fine. Doesn't bother me none. I'm having a goddamn ball right now, man. I am absolutely just excited to be alive. Bugs! Shit, man, what are these even? Creature. Morphology. Scarab. Exploding parasites that can embed their bodies in solid rock. Scarabs think nothing of sacrificing themselves for the safety of the swarm. When a hostile life form is sighted, they block progress by embedding themselves in floors and walls. Embedded scarabs violently self-destruct when threatened. Let's threaten them. Achievement unlocked. Scarab Slayer. Eyeball. Creature? Ion. Immobile organism entirely composed of ocular tissue. It's an eyeball. Capable of launching sustained energy beams when active. The ion is sensitive to light and will close shut if a bright flash ignites nearby. So, shoot her. Alright, cool, sweet. Shoot you too. Very good. Okay. Uh, save station detected. Okay, cool. Very good. Where? Oh, right next door. Yes, upstairs. Got it. Yes, I knew that. Chozo lore entry. Chozo script translated. We Chozo are departing now after so many years in peaceful seclusion here on Talon 4. When we came, this place was a refuge from our for our spirits. A civilization built from native materials bereft of the trappings of our technology. We were linked to the land here, a kin kindred to the plants and animals, far away from the machines we had become so dependent on. And so we leave it now, pristine, a testament to the moral forms we no longer need. Holy shit, man, are they fucking ghost people? We have drawn the veils of time and space aside and are withdrawing beyond the illusion, but we will never forget this, the most sacred of our homes, and we will remain ever watchful. Okay, so they're gods? Unusually high concentrations of poison identified in tree leaves. Oh, cool. Did that say poison or poison, like a specific poison, like poison ivy? No, it's just poison. Okay, it's a poison tree. That's fine. Hey, man, it's a poison tree, whatever. I'll walk all over it. I don't give a fuck. I'm in a robot suit, man. Aha, war wasps. War wasp. Airborne insect equipped with a venomous stinger capable of shearing steel. Fuck, these are strong. The war wasp rarely strays far from its hive unless it's pursuing an immediate threat. It attacks with no regard for its own survival, dive bombing the enemy with stinger extended, fast working toxins from the stinger, and incapacitates small organisms. Well, let's 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 ourselves incapacitate a number of small organisms. How's that sound? Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. Let's just go up here to the save station. A little Chozo technology for you. Saving. I cannot reiterate how happy I am right now, man. This is like... 
I didn't realize really how much I wanted to play this game until like two or three weeks ago when I was like, hey, we're getting really close to the end of Warcraft 3. We should start playing Metroid Prime soon. And then I get that in my head. And like, Okay, so over there is a missile upgrade. But I don't have missiles, first of all, so I'm not going to be really getting the missile upgrade. Uh, and secondly, I need the Morph Ball and the Morph Ball Bomb to traverse that little uh, pathway there. So we're not doing that. Actually, wait. I should be able to learn something about those. Yes, okay, good. Structural weakness detected in sandstone block. Oh, yeah, that's right. My status screen here, arm cannon, power beam. Samus's notes, the power beam can use to be open blue doors. If you see your shots ricochet, cease fire. The power beam is not working against that target. You can use the power beam to quickly clear areas. Okay, yeah. So the arm cannon has a number of different abilities, but like a bunch of her shit is missing. But the notes indicate, like, oh, morph ball bombs can destroy sandstone. So if you sa if you scan something and it indicates a large presence of sandstone, you're like, oh, fuck, I'll just destroy it with the morph ball bomb. The only translatable symbol here detected on this sculpture is the word Chozo. Chozo's sculpture crafted in honor of Talon Star. Chozo. And those are the self-destruct bots, right? The self-destructatrons? Is there, like, bugs? Is that what's happening? The petrified organic matter looks like a rock carved into the shape of an eye. Okay, I've killed all them. That's good. How close are we to our target? Oh, we're very close to our target, guys. I'm pretty sure that green water down there is, like, super bad for me. Oh, I love these. Creature's entry. Species, tangleweed. Plant life with basic sentience. <laughs> Retracts into ground if threatened. Tangleweeds are only dangerous to small organisms. They're covered in tiny barbs designed to trap potential meals. Tangleweeds lack the strength to do anything more than hinder larger life forms. But if I shoot it, they retract. Ah, it's so cool. Small tunnel leads back behind the wall. Width of the opening is approximately one meter in diameter. Oh, shit. What's going on over here? The door cannot be opened with that weapon. A new research entry. Blast shield on the door blocking access. Analysis indicates that the blast shield is vulnerable to beam weapons. Explos invulnerable to beam weapons. Explosive weapons may damage it. Okay, so I need the missiles to traverse that doorway. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, them little light guys. Morphology. Plasmite, small insect capable of storing and releasing thermal energy. Plasmites are attractive to sources of heat, thriving on the energy present there. They emit light when hunting and will expel small bursts of thermal energy when when threatened. Okay. Well, he's lighting my hallway for me, so I'm not gonna oh, bother him! Ow! Fuck. They had these in uh, Super Metroid, and they were awesome. I liked them anyway. Man, you don't have to give me the heat warnings and how hot it is in here. This is it, right? This is the room I was looking for. Oh, come on, let me up. Kind of hoping to get those missiles. Oh, no! 
Get me out of the... Get me out of the soup! Wow! I got hit once and it just pushed me into the shit, man. Holy smokes. Okay, let's go back to the Chozo Ruins and figure things out now. Bet I lost anything that I scanned between... I didn't want to be in this stuff, man. Uh, whatever, whatever. Let's scan the sandstone again. Let's put that in there. Okay, good. There's like four or five rooms between here and there now. We scanned all this. Scan the gillyweed. All right, good. Scan the light bright. Let's try this again without the dying. It appears I cannot skip the cutscene. That blows. Kind of stinks. Stinks. Not good. Stinks. Shooting exactly between the beams, the, the, the bees, whatever they are, the bees' knees. Ah, fuck. Guys, we've got one of our upgrades back, and it's the missiles. Woo! Feels good. Press Y to fire. Press A to switch back to beams. Missiles can destroy some blast shields on doors. Additional data downloaded to inventory screen. Press start to access inventory screen. I feel really good now. Ooh, shit. Small tunnel leads back behind the wall. Oh, okay. Energy tank. This item permanently increases my maximum energy by 100 units. Kill the weeds. Fuck yeah, dude. Is that all that's in here? Okay. 
I can't morph ball yet, so I can't go into that small unit. Oh, shit. But what I can do... Come on, man, let me out. I guess I don't have to leave them alive. There we are. Good. Research entry. Map station. Walk into the map station to download the hologram of the map you're in. Okay, great. Cool. Okay. Okay. Wow. There is quite a bit to this area. So the room we were just in was this room here, which leads to whatever this is. Um, main plaza. Okay, this is where we came in from. Okay, so this is probably our next destination because we want to come into this room and go over here. I'm pretty sure that is a way that I can go. I haven't seen any other entryways or exits that are blocking, like that I can't progress through, except for the morph ball st stuff, which was here and like this little loopy section. But I'm not sure what that little loopy section actually offers. So we're going to head back that way. Good. You know what? You guys can probably see that, too. Um, if I really open up on my cannon, like, really just lay into it for a while, when I stop firing, you're going to see heat fumes coming off the end of the, 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 end of the barrel. See that shit? Isn't that fucking great? Completely needless. The polish in this is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Whoop! Ah, ah! The guys that rained down! The suicide beetles. Yes, this- oh! This is where I was talking about earlier. I feel like I've really pissed off all the war wasps. Alright, check this out. I'm pretty sure I can kill... Pretty sure I can kill their shit and they won't spawn. Do I have to destroy all of it? Or maybe not. Oh, they came out of that one too. I do think that does stop them from spawning, though. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, I can't progress through here without the morph ball. Okay. Three branches block most of the tunnel, but there's a small opening near the floor. Okay, so let's reassess the map. Uh, let's see what the area directly behind me has to offer. Here we go. Perfect. Passageway to shrine. Okay. Just walk through them and casually lose 40 points of health. Oh, good. This is the morph ball. Okay, this is seriously going to increase my ability to go places. Killing beetles. Heavy combat. Hit the button as fast as you can. Oh. What do we do with people who have a big red ass? What do we do? We scan them. Morphology. Plated beetle. Well armored, burrowing insect. Vulnerable only in the asshole. Creatures thick cranial plating can reveal frontal can repel frontal attacks. This gives an advantage in combat, allowing it to make ramming attacks. Only surf only surfacing when it detects vibrations above, then it maneuvers itself as to always face the rival, keeping its exposed abdomen protected. Yeah, well. Just gotta know the dance, man. He'll come up, he'll dance once, twice, and then charge. One, two, charge. Poor guy. Yeah, right in his face and ass. Uh, do I have that? Yes, I already have that. Okay, very good. Anti-gravity chocolate seems to be about okay. Morph ball. Morph ball acquired. Press to activate the morph ball mode. Use the control stick to move the ball around. Additional data downloaded. Let's go. Good. All right, let's see, are these, like, things that I can read? Okay, no. Now, the reason that I can find upgrades out here and that, like, shit just works with my suit is, like I said, this is a Chozo base. I'm wearing a Chozo armor suit. Like, it's not unreasonable that these things are happening. Sort of went unexplained in earlier games, as far as I'm aware. Might have been in the instruction manual. I don't know. I'll have to read it sometime. Next stop is that room that we were just in where I'm like, oh shit, I can't go any further because we need the morph ball. I'm gonna explore that, 
Then I'm going to go back to where we fought the acid bees. The robot that had the bees in it. Damn it, I didn't... Uh, I didn't want to get that close to them. Whatever, it's fine. Just kill all the bugs. Fountain choked by overgrowth. Toxic levels are high. Is that the fountain that the Chozo were talking about? I doubt it. Oops. Chozo lore entry. As we struggle with the great poison, something stirs at the edges of our vision. It is the hatch it is the hatchling Samus. We feel her across the void as she hunts the corrupted. Will our fates again be won? As our pride shatters, will, pros will prosperity become real? Prophecy become real. I forget. I went by too fast. Will prophecy. It was prophecy. I just looked over at the stream. When all strength wanes from the Chozo, will it be the hatchling who fulfills our legacy? True sight eludes us, for the poison gnaws at all vision, leaving seers blind and filled with despair. Truth's blessing may come too late. No structural weakness detected in metalwork. Come on, man, let me past. Oh, that's a spider ball track. Wonder how I use it. Oh, shit. A door. I didn't even see that door. Blast caps. I feel like I can... I feel like I can disable this poison. Like, I feel like I can get rid of this poison. Whoa, intense heat readings detected behind this door. Okay, I can't go in there until I have the various suit. Okay, so I have discovered... A new place that I can't go yet. Good. It's good to have that information. Come on! Those were Shriek Bats. Let's see if I can get them to respawn. I think they were the first enemy you encounter in Metroid 1. Reaper Vine, powerful rock-dwelling tentacle. A single eye upon the Reaper Vine keeps constant vigil, but its vision is limited to 10 meters. A scythe-like appendage on the tip of its hone, on on its tip is honed to lethal sharpness. The Reaper Vine will swing this blade wildly at anything that enters its zone of perception. I don't know exactly what I'm doing in this room. I'm just doing some exploratating. Ooh, a save station is detected. Oh, sweet. Okay. So if I head to the left, 
There's a doorway right there. Okay, very good. But also, I could go to the right and keep climbing. Which seems valid. Nope, it isn't, because I don't have the morph ball bombs. What is that noise? Oh, it's probably those blast caps over there. Is this the save station? Whoops. Yes. Sweet. Let's get like 80 energy back. Shit! Good, I got it. Shriek Bat. Territorial Ceiling Dweller. Body temperature peaks at 121 centigrade. Damn. Shriek Bats have high internal temperature, making them easy to spot. With thermal imaging, they roost on cave ceilings while hunting for small prey. Fiercely territorial, they dive bomb anything that wanders near. Yeah, man, I remember them from Metroid 1. They're assholes. Alright, what's going on? Ah, ah, poison mushrooms! Let's observe. Okay, there's a couple of things there, and then there's... Okay, well, let's explore this area first. That which fouls the water seeks the sun. The great poison comes from Talon's core. Blast caps. Toxicity levels critical. Contact with contaminated water extremely hazardous. Truth awaits you in a sacred hall. I'll keep making that mistake all game. Roots originate over walls. No decomposition detected. Host plant appears to thrive on toxic water. Large metal gate blocks entrance to the area beyond. Four runic symbols adorn its surface. Matching symbols within this room must be scanned to gain access. Oh, shit. This runic symbol has been activated. Okay.
Space sediments indicate water once flowed here. This is fascinating. I don't remember this room at all. And dead. Fuck. Man, I get one... Freaking... I get one energy unit in me and all of a sudden it's like, let's dive into the lava acid. Actually, you know what? Let's not dive into the lava acid. Let's instead take a very quick break because it's been about an hour and a half. We got another segment to do for Old School Wednesday, so everybody just hang tight, stay put, don't go nowhere. But I do need to get some more water, so BRB.